UFC 263 just days away, and we are about to see the UFC 263 press conference down here in, in downtown Phoenix, c catching up with Leon Edwards uh, prior to walking out. He's going to be facing Nate Diaz. What are you expecting out of this uh, out of this press conference today? Um, I don't know actually, because back at the moment in social media, not really say much, you know. So let, let's see how he approaches it. I think Nate is one of, one of these guys that even goes back and forth if you start first, you know. So. We'll, we'll see how it plays out. He has been uh, quiet, I yeah, feel yeah, like. Yeah. What, what do you make of that? Um, I don't know. I don't know. See if he's focused in on the job. You know, he's got um, a tough task ahead of him. Um, or we might not just take him lightly. Let's see, you know. Um, like I said, I, I, I work my ass off to get to where, where I am right now. And Nate's not the guy to, to, to derail that train, you know. Coming into this week, do you feel like like these kind of things matter? The press conference matters, Get you know. But photo ops matter, and then after I beat this guy, whatever I say in the octagon or a press conference, like because you've had some trouble getting that attention to your name, do you come into a week thinking I gotta nail that part of the, the performance as well? Um, I'm just focused 100% on the fight, you know. But I'm just in, enjoying every single day of the week. Um, obviously, I have to do my obligations, just um, media. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really think oh, I need to do this. I need to do that, you know. It's like I enjoy it, take it day by day, um, enjoy the whole process of it. I've been off for a long time, you know, so I'm just enjoying it now and taking it all in. When you go into a press conference like this, you say you're trying to enjoy it. Do you do you, do you go in thinking maybe I can get under this guy's skin, or maybe I can say something funny, or do you just what, what, what is kind of like your strategy when you go into something like that? Um, I don't got a strategy to it. I was kind of flow <laughs> flow with it, you know. I don't really go in there with a the game plan as what to say and when to say it, you know. Just yeah, I'm at natural and be myself, and that would be good enough, you know. Is there a part of you that's just surprised that, not even surprised, but that acknowledges where, man, I've been working so hard for so long for this main kind of opportunity like this, where the spotlight is on me, the people are talking about your fight, more so, I think, than, than even of the title yeah, fights. Sure. Do, you, do you feel that? Is it, does that do anything to you during fight week that says, hey, I finally am getting the spotlight that I deserve and that I've been wanting for so long? Um, just extra motivation, you know. Um, I've been building on this for a long time, so it's probably not as, um, shocked as as it would be because I built it slowly, you know, we're like just overnight. I've been grinding my way and grinding my ass off for the last five years since my, my last defeat, you know. So, um, like I said, it's not a, it's, it's, it is another fight. Um, Nate's, Nate's the name that we got, and that's the name we got to take out. I want to ask you something about strategically the fight. Everybody knows this guy cuts easy, and it's not something that you know ever, anybody likes to really talk about. But it's just become a fact of, of who Nate Diaz is. He's cut easily. Does that come into your game plan at all? That you would like to open this guy up and see some blood early he's in the fight? Opened up for sure. You know, um, if you watch my my fights, I'm known to open people up. You know, so he's going to be open up 100%. Um, but I'm not looking to go out there and get the fight stopped and cuts. I don't think that's a good enough victory. You know, I'm going out there and I want to finish the fight for myself. You no, know? I don't want the doctor to step in and say, "Oh, you can't carry on." You know, I need to make sure you can't carry on. So. Yeah. That's my, my job and that's what I'm going to go out there and do. Do you think in, in the situation that you're in that a decision win would not be enough, that you would leave the arena disappointed if you don't finish this guy? Um, yeah, for sure, 100%. Uh, like I said, I've improved leaps and bounds in my last outing um, against um, RDA. You know, I haven't got to show that yet. I showed a little bit in, um, in the Fort Bilal, but I think this is the fight and bring the best out of me, you know, and I cannot wait to go out there and do that. Leon, tell me, at the bottom of your heart, when you win this fight and then you, you say whatever you say, do you pass Colby Covington because of the fact that, that, that you were you were willing to fight this guy, he wasn't, and now he's been waiting a long time? If you get the job done in the manner that you are thinking on Saturday, yeah. do you jump this guy? I believe so. I, when I go out there and perform the way I think I'm going to perform, I believe I'll leapfrog him, you know. Um, I've done nine in a row. Um, he just got knocked out for, 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 the, for the title. It's my turn now. It's been like five years. I've rebuilt myself back up, um, winning a, a nine-fight win streak. So. In the fashion I go out there and do it on um, Saturday night, I, I will leave for yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.